Okay, I know we have some families who are gonna join late, but I am gonna get started. I'm gonna share my screen so we can start off with some yoga. No. Have fun learning with adapted mind. A fun team. Start by making your very own monster avatar. See what being a true hero looks like in our friend Frank the Frog. We're off to Costa Rica and run VT! Hello everyone, welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. Now we always begin in the same way and that's by sitting on our bottoms with our legs crossed and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word which is namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin and today we're off to Costa Rica to the rainforest to meet Frank the Frog. There's going to be a special Olympic Games and we're gonna go and cheer him on. So let's get ready for our journey by packing a bag, putting our legs out long and taking our fingers down to our toes, maybe bending our knees a little bit. We open up our suitcase with a and take our arms out wide. Then we twist round one way and we get our waterproofs. We need to keep dry in the rain and we put them in. Waterproofs, 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 waterproofs. We take our arms out wide again and twist the other way and get our insect repellent. Hmm, we don't want to get bitten. And we get that and we put it in with a <laughs> Yay! We take our arms up tall again, bending our knees a little bit and we close our suitcase. Ready? There. Now we give everyone at home a great big hug to say goodbye. Come to our knees, take your arms out wide and wrap them up with a great big hug. Lovely. Then we open up the door by taking one leg out to the side and lifting our arm up to the sky and opening the door. Ooh. We bring two knees back together again and put our other leg out to the side. Then we close the door behind us with a Ooh. There! Now we catch an aeroplane. Take your arms out wide like wings and put your hand down to the side. Wave at the sky and put your foot in front of your knee. Then shoot your back leg out behind you and... All the way around one side of the world. Then come back to two knees again. Take your wings out wide and drop down onto the other side waving at the sky. Then bring your foot in front of your knee and shoot your back leg out to the side and say, Neow! and we've arrived in Costa Rica. Yay! We stand up and we look through our binoculars, bringing our thumbs and fingers together. We have a look through. There's lots of very tall trees here. We can't see very much. Ooh, let's climb up. Up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go, up we go, up we go, up we, up we, up we go. Oh, we're quite high now. So we try putting one foot on top of the other, using our heel and bringing our hands together at our hearts. Then we grow our tree up very tall and... Hmm, you look like you might be quite a strong tree today. I wonder if I can blow you down. You stay tall and strong and I'll have a go. Are you ready? Here we go. Doopy doopy doo. I don't believe it. You're still standing up. You are a really strong tree today. Let's try the other side, shall we? Let's put our other foot on top using our heel again and bring our hands together at our hearts and grow our tree up nice and tall. Oh, trying not to wobble. Oh, we're very tall trees today. At the top of this tree, we meet a monkey who jumps very high into the air to say hello. Ready? 
Coming down onto your tiptoes and your fingertips, he does a big monkey jump. One, two, three. Wah! He's very pleased to see us and he points us in the direction of the swamp. Although I think he's a bit confused. He stands up and he points with his toe to the floor. Huh. He points at his toe with his finger. Huh. And then he points at the sky with his other finger. Huh. And then he points at his eye with his tongue. This is one confused monkey. We say namaste to thank him. Namaste. And we jump down. One, two, three. Boing. Oh no. At the bottom of the tree is a crocodile. Ah! Lying on your side, stretch your arms out long and your legs out long and open up your big crocodile mouth. Oh, we better hide. We don't want this crocodile to see us. We tuck ourselves up into a tiny little ball. Shh. Then we hear a funny noise. Is it a because the crocodile is a Quick, let's stand up and tiptoe away. Quick. Phew! Now we take big steps through the undergrowth to get to the river. Ready? Big step! And last time, big step! And we arrive at the river! Yay! There's a boat waiting for us, sitting on our bottoms. Take your hands behind you. Lift up one foot, lift up two feet, lift up one hand, and lift up no hands! Give me a wave! Yay! Well done, everyone! We row our boat down the river, taking our legs out long, and we hold on to one of our feet, and we row with our oar. Ready? Row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Oh dear, we've rowed around in a circle. Let's row with the other oar. So we take that one. Here we go. Row, row, row the boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. And up pops a fish to say hello. Can you point your toes and come down onto your elbows? Then pop, pop, pop your chest up to the sky and look all the way up and maybe behind you. The fish says, Oh, hello. Would you like a pull? I'll get you there a lot faster. Well, that would be nice, but we don't think the fish can probably pull us very fast, but nice of him to offer. Let's go, we say. And off he goes, starting to pull our boat. We were wrong. He pulls us so fast that we have to stand up, hold on to the front of our boat and bounce like we're water skiing. Bounce, bounce, bounce down the river. Bounce, bounce, bounce down the river. It's like we're water skiing. It's so much fun. We let go with one arm and we step back with one leg and all of a sudden, we're surfing! <laughs> this is brilliant fun! We jump the other way and do it the other side too. Backwards! <laughs> oh no! Up ahead, the fish hasn't seen the ginormous waterfall! We're going down, everyone! Ready? Down with a splash, we sit on our bottoms and we tumble all the way into the water. Whee! Whoosh! Goodness me! We come up onto our knees and we swim up to the surface of the water. Ready? Oh, we've popped out. And it's the opening ceremony of the Olympics. And all of the frogs are singing and dancing. They look very good. Let's join in with them. Ready? Standing up, they're singing. Oh, yeah, we hop. Oh, yeah, we leap. 
We go rip it, rip it, rip it to the beat. My legs are long, got sticky feet. That we twizzle side to side to the beat. They're brilliant at this dancing and singing. We love it. Then Frank the Frog hops over to see us. Yay! Coming down, he does a little hop. Ready? Ribbit. Ribbit. Then he hops high into the air. One, two, three. Ribbit. Ribbit. Welcome to the Froggy Olympic Games. I am so happy to see you. Come on, we've got to go and cheer on all of our friends. Let's go to the diving pool and see the dolphins. Oh, the dolphins. We love dolphins. Freshwater dolphins. Come to our knees. We cheer them on. Ready? Go dolphins, go dolphins, go dolphins. Other way. Go dolphins, go dolphins, go dolphins. The dolphins start to dive and boy oh boy are they good at diving. We crisscross our fingers and we come down onto our elbows. And so the dolphins begin to dive. <laughs> Amazing. And they dive even better when we cheer them on. Next, it's time to go to the rock pool where the river rock crabs are playing football. Yes, we cheer them on with Frank. Ready? Go crabs, go crabs, go crabs, go crabs. Other way. Go crabs, go crabs, go crabs. And here they go, those crabs playing football. Sitting on our bottoms, bend our knees, feet flat, hands behind you. Lift your bottom up and let's digger, digger that way first. Ready? Digger, 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 digger. Ooh, other way. Digger, 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 digger. Ooh, let's do two more. Ready? Digger, 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 digger. Ooh, and the last one. Digger, 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 digger. Ooh, oh, the crabs are brilliant footballers, but it's time to go on to the jungle jumps where the grasshoppers are doing the high jump at the Olympics. And Frank the Frog is so excited to cheer them on as well. Come to our knees again. We cheer on the grasshoppers. Go grasshoppers, go grasshoppers, go grasshoppers. Other way. Go grasshoppers, go grasshoppers, go grasshoppers. After that, Frank whispers in our ear. I am a little bit nervous because next it is my race, the lily pad leaps. And I have to race with the blue frog bolt. The blue frog bolt? We see him. He looks amazing. Standing up. Take your legs wide. Stick your arm up high and pull back with your top arm like blue frog bolt. He swaps his side around, twisting the other way, taking the other arm up high and pulling the back arm back. He looks super fast. We can understand why our poor friend Frank is a bit nervous. But we're going to help him get ready by getting him warmed up with some froggy hops. Ready? Coming down, we put our hands down, sticking them to the ground, and then we do a big froggy hop into the air. Ready? Hop! And again. Hop! That's it. That's got his legs nice and ready. Then we do some calm froggy breaths so that he feels not nervous at all, just calm as a cucumber. Crisscross your fingers underneath your chin. Lift up your elbows as you breathe in. And again. That's better. Now he feels really calm and ready to get into position on his lily pad. Frank gets into position, as does Blue Frog Bolt. Here they go. On their marks. Get set. Go! And they begin hopping across the lily pads. Hopping, hopping, hopping and hopping. Frank goes into the lead and we cheer him on with a Go Frank! Go Frank! Go Frank! Go Frank! Other way. Go Frank! Go Frank! Go Frank! And he hops even faster. Hop! 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 But the little blue frog is coming up behind him. Blue Frog Bolt is super fast but Oh no! He misses his footing and he falls off a lily pad, sitting on your bottom, lifting your legs and arms. Ah! ah. Landing with a splodoosh 
into the water. Oh no! Frank the Frog stops the race immediately. He stands up on his lily pad, lifts his long froggy arms up, and he dives into the water to go and save Blue Frog Bolt. Oh, What's happened to me? Everyone looks and holds their breath. <gasps> Where is Frank? Where is Blue Frog Bolt? Then all of a sudden, out of the water, coming onto your tummies, everyone, out comes Blue Frog Bolt. Oh. And out beneath him comes Frank the Frog, who has saved his life as he lifts up Blue Frog Bolt and pops him on a lily pad. Frank is a hero. Take your feet out wide and see if you can just sit between your feet. We crisscross our fingers and lift up our hands and cheer like a hero for Frank. Yay! But it's time for us to go. And here comes a very friendly firefly lying on our backs. Lift up our legs, wiggle our toes and wiggle our fingers like a buzzy firefly in the night. And one of them says, Taxi! Oh, yes, please. We'd like to get home on a firefly. So we snuggle down, lying on our lovely firefly's back. <sighs> and we get ourselves super comfortable, ready for our journey home. And as we lay here, snuggled up, feeling all lovely and cosy, we can hear below us the sound of the frogs singing again. And we think about how Frank stopped his race and jumped in to save Blue Frog Bolt. Because it's not always about winning. It's sometimes about looking out for your friends. And what's brilliant is if you can cheer your friends on. And when you cheer your friends on, everyone does so much better. So give your friends your cheers. Tell them that they're brilliant and see how they become even better with every cheer. <sighs> All right, guys, we are gonna stop this one here. How was that one? Good. Um, so we are actually going to end this one a little early. I have a meeting that I have to jump on um, at exactly 1.30. But next week um, <clears throat> will be my last one of these for May. Um, it looks like we might switch over to the weekends. So I'll probably do once a weekend. Um, but we're, we'll, we'll figure that out, make sure that everybody can get involved. Uh, and tomorrow night is Dr. Genevieve's last empowerment moment for the month of May. So I will see you guys in a week. Bye, guys.